My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now, we're going to talk with Mike Hall from the Crawford Soil and Water Conservation District. Hello, Mike. Morning, Randy. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are Good. you? Good, thanks. And hey, we're getting the, the nice weather's back again. Yes, yeah, summer's here, isn't it? Well, I guess yeah. tomorrow's the first day of summer. Really. Yeah, yeah. We had a little cold spell again. You know, it seems yes. weird. We had these warm weeks and it got cooler and <clears> warm, <throat> just kind of off and on. But uh, looks like we're getting back to the normal temperatures again. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I was in uh, on vacation all last week mm-hmm. and. I was in 62 degree highs and oh, stuff really? like that. I was north and it was nice. Well, and then oh, I come yeah. back here and it's 80, 81, 82. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, ah, I want to yeah. go back north. <laughs> right there, you go. Yeah. This time of year, though, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about uh, something that uh, they can cool you off. They can cool you off as your, right. your, 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 your ponds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. We yeah. Wanted to uh, um, just go over, talk about different. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're into that time of year. People are out enjoying the weather, enjoying summer. You know, mm-hmm. doing the summer things, cookouts. You know, family gatherings and things like that. And if you have a pond, generally that that's the central point mm-hmm. of your family gatherings and stuff like that. And um, just wanted to kind of go over everything that the office does with ponds, from construction to management to um, you know troubleshooting and things like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the dis- district offers a lot of opportunities and a lot of expertise in that area. So yeah, because you can't just dig a hole and put a pond in, right? <laughs> no, and that's and that's yeah. one of the first things yeah. we we talk about. One of the big things we do is we have. Um, you know, we do pre-construction mm-hmm. um, site visits. So people are interested in big, digging a pond or putting a pond in, we, we can go out and kind of assess that site mm-hmm. um, and look at it from a watershed standpoint and a soil standpoint. You know, watershed's important because mm-hmm. you have to have enough water to fill it. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people think, oh, great, if I, if I, hit a, I want to hit a spring or they're fed from the ground up. You know, 90% of the ponds are not. Mm-hmm. They're fed from surface water running in. Um Spring-fed ponds are great, but I always caution people, you know, um, a lot of people would rather have that because they're cool, mm-hmm, you know, right. they're nice, um, but if water can go in, water can eventually go out, mm-hmm. and okay, so yeah. you just always have to remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so we look at the watershed and determine how much is coming there. If, I mean, that, that determines the size of the pond that you really can have or whether you got to add water from some other source, mm-hmm. um, and then also what 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 kind of runoff is coming in, where is it coming from, what's it carrying potentially, okay. and things like that. Um, and then we look at the soils. Um, we actually dig soil pits and dig, look at what's actually down there. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, you know, not all the soils in Crawford County are going to hold water. Right. Okay. Um, we're blessed with good soils, and mm-hmm. I would say 80 to 90% of the ponds that we test holes we do are good. Mm-hmm. Um, but... It's one of those things where if you have bad, Mm -hmm. it's bad. I mean, Mm -hmm. it's sand, gravel, veins, things like that just won't let a pond fill up. And and that's a good opportunity for somebody to, to you know, come out and look at it. And it it saves you a lot of hassle, Mm -hmm. time, aggravation, money. Mm -hmm, Um, You know, last thing you want to do is have have a contractor come out, dig a big hole, that doesn't fill with water. Yeah. (laughs) And that's the worst case scenario. So we try and head that off. Um, you know, and, and kind of give you give some, the owner some comfort to saying, hey, that this is more likely going to, you got good mm-hmm. soil, it's going to hold water, and you can give you a thumbs up on construction then. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's, that's, that's, a good, that's a good project. Um, that's a good uh, program that we offer mm-hmm. there is the construction. So What about, like, stocking for, for fish? Yes, we do that too. Um, you know, we, we have a fish sale every mm-hmm. year, um, you know, that we offer um, – fish fingerlings um, for Mm -hmm. stocking Um, we also can offer recommendations on based on what you want I mean Mm -hmm. some people just want to have fish in there others want to have specific fish they're into it for fishing Mm -hmm. so we can give them the right correct ratios and things like that of of what types of fish to stock and what and how many of them um, to stock and then for existing ponds you know it's a little tougher because we don't know what's exactly in there Mm -hmm. new pond you know there's really nothing in there but um you know, on an, on an existing pond, let's say one that's 10, 15 years old, mm-hmm. you know, we really don't know what's in there. Sometimes the owners know, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Um, but we can try and ask some questions, engage that. And we can offer them some opportunities there. But, yeah, definitely a different different um, stocking mm-hmm. uh, potential rate from, from, from a new pond to, to, an old, to an older existing pond. You know, you can't throw fish in right away because they got to have something to eat. Sure. Uh, you right. know, so... You know, if you're willing, then it comes into whether you're willing to feed them or not and things mm-hmm. like that. So it just depends on, on where you're at. But, you know, we'll walk you through that process, you know, with the fish and, and the types and the numbers and the ratios and all that. So, you know, that's just something that we, we do. Like I said, we offer a fish sale in the mm-hmm. spring of the year every year. Um, and even if you don't get the fish from us, we still, um, you know, provide that opportunity. I mean, there are several other counties that have fish sales. You can go to the actual 
fish vendors themselves mm-hmm. and order them sure. if you want. Um, and sure. so we'll offer, we'll, we'll provide that information for you and, and whatnot on the fish. So it's is, good. Is there a lot of people still putting ponds in? Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was, um, you know, there's, it seems to be a pretty consistent um, um, numbers that we, mm-hmm. we see going in. Um, we do a lot of calls. I mean, mm-hmm. we do a lot of calls. We do a lot of site evaluations, um, you know, for new ponds, for existing ponds. Our number one probably um, request or whatever is, is, is the weed management. We get a mm-hmm. lot of, you know, people would have a particular algae, mm-hmm. you know, filamentous algae. That's the floating pond scum yeah. and muck that everybody, yeah. you know, nobody likes swimming in it. Nobody <laughs> likes fishing in it. It just, <laughs> yeah. it just doesn't do any good sure. for anything. Um, and when you get too much of it, it's a problem. Yeah, it really right, is. And right. so you got to be careful of that. So we deal a lot with that. We mm-hmm. walk people through how to, you know, what to use for that. Because mm-hmm. it is, a, there's a particular herbicide that you have to use. Okay. Um, you can't just put anything in there. Um, and then, you know, the next one's probably the cattails. You know, cattails come in and they can be very, very hard to get rid of. They're, they're very, very um, deep rooted, mm-hmm. extensive root system on those. And it's going to take um, a couple opportunities, you know, take to get those taken out um and there are several different methods that you can use but we'll walk people through the, that mm-hmm. kind of stuff too and and just you know the overall management of a pond you know is generally um you know it's not something that you just dig and put in um right. you know and, and walk away from it's it's an annual thing it's it's every year you got to do it um you know and, and uh to get it where you you want it and and the thing with a pond is mm-hmm. is they can get ahead of you so fast like this year the, the for whatever reason and i think it was that warm weather we had mm-hmm. in march yeah. um, we had april may type weather in march and that got things jump started yeah. i mean pond heated up lots of sun lots of uh, and it and it it got ahead the, a lot of times those plants and vegetation got ahead of a lot of people could because come may beginning of may we were having generally j- late june mm-hmm. algae problems and um, so i think that was what it was and so a lot of people can get, got behind on their, you know, their um, herbicide applications. Sure. The idea with the herbicides is you want to get them in early. You want to get them in, get them. At, you don't want to notice the problem and then try and combat it. You want to get ahead of it. Um, so we'd r- recommend that a lot of people go in and, and, and do that and, you know, contact us or their dealer or whoever they're getting their product from early and get that taken care of. So. If, if someone uh, is interested in, in the services from the Crawford Soil Water Conservation District, how can they get a hold of you guys? You can call us. Um, it's by appointment. Mm-hmm. We'll come out. There's no cost to any of it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no, no fees for that. Even the test tolls, you might have to pay a contractor. But we do have a contractor's list mm-hmm. um, in the office if you're wanting to know who, who, who in the area does ponds, who digs them, who manages them, who mm-hmm. does this, who just, we have that list in there of pond vendors, consultants, okay. who do, you know, fountains and things like that as well. Sure. So, um, but yeah, you can just get a hold of the office at 419-562-8280. And we also have, um, we're on the website at crawfordswcd.org, mm-hmm. a lot of the information on there. We just updated our website. It's got tons of good information for ponds, links and things like that that take you different places for different things. So... Definitely check that out. It's a really good, uh, good uh, website. Uh, good, lots of good information there. So. All right. Well, Mike. Well, thank you so much. Yes, on appreciate all it. That thank great you. information well, about Randy. ponds. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.